Nearly two weeks ago, Hurricane Michael ripped through the Florida panhandle. This region is no stranger to storms, but Michael was more destructive than any before and has left residents like Ole Miss alum Jeff Risch scrambling to pick up the pieces. I've been on a chainsaw here for the last nine days. You know, it, 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 at some point in the day, I've spent several hours on the chainsaw for the last for the last eight now I've lost track of time. So. Rish and his wife Patty were without power for more than a week. Fallen trees litter the yards and tarps cover damage to the roof. But Rish says recovery won't happen overnight. We just take things a day at a time. I mean, you, you just do, literally do it a day at a time. You, and, and you deal with what you have to deal with. Recent Ole Miss grad Peyton Lo Cicero is a reporter at WMBB right here in Panama City. Through her reporting, she's gotten to know the area like the back of her hand, but when Michael rolled through, the area was unrecognizable. When I came over the first day and saw it, I had to pull over because I was crying so bad. I was sobbing, I was so upset because I, A, I couldn't find where I was going, and B, I had interviewed all these people before. I knew these people, I knew the lady who had the little thrift shop, I knew the people who own Amavita Coffee Shop who lost everything, and seeing those being completely gone and unrecognizable, it's devastating. On top of the physical destruction, Michael has taken a mental toll on residents. Through her job, Los Cicero sees a way to help people get back on their feet. Well, it's our job, it's our duty, and it's it's powerful knowing that I'm reaching so many people and getting them the positive information that they need to get, keep going. Despite how it looks, Rish knows that it could have been much worse. Uh, all I can say is that we were uh, blessed and extremely fortunate. And there were many, many, many uh, that aren't. <laughs> Abby McIntosh, Newswatch Ole Miss. I don't really know how to put it into words. It's just surreal. Ole Miss junior Kerrigan Harriet made the trip from Oxford to her childhood home this weekend to see family and Hurricane Michael's damage. For Harriet, the last two weeks have been stressful, especially when she heard the monster storm was headed to Panama City and her dad wasn't able to evacuate. So I called my dad and I was like, hey, are you leaving? And he's like, I can't, I'm trapped, I can't go anywhere. Um, I'm just gonna have to wait it out. There's nothing I can do. Um, so. You know, I'm freaking out. I'm in Oxford, 500 miles away. You know, my, my mom and sister are fine because they left, but you know, my dad, you know, my dogs, every, everywhere that I grew up, basically, my, for my like teenage years is in danger. Being 500 miles away, Harriet says waiting was the hardest part, but nothing prepared her for what she saw once she was actually home. I, I've seen pictures over the course of the past two weeks, and I kind of had an idea of what to expect, um, but Pictures are not doing any of this justice, and I'm I'm here two weeks after it. After seeing pictures of what Michael did to her city, Harriet says she felt the need to help. Being in Oxford, I felt very helpless, so we gathered about $300 worth of supplies and brought them down here. But after Michael ripped through the area and Harriet knew her family was okay, she couldn't help but release the emotions she was holding in. Like someone asked me, how was my family, and just broke down and just so happy and relieved like we got lucky and um, you know that's all I can say is just we got lucky. Harriet spent most of her time working in the small right behind me when she was in high school. She says coming home even if it was just for this weekend gave her the closure she's been needing to move forward. In Panama City, Abby McIntosh, Newswatch Ole Miss.